All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Let's, uh, let's go see about going to talk to them great boys. He's still asleep. Hey, get up. I'm sleeping, Arthur. Ah, uh, don't worry, it can wait. Quit with the ruckus. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Uncle. Morning, Dutch. You heard about the bank in Valentine? Yeah, sounds like it went very well. Good work, Arthur. Ah, uh, Bill, Karen, and Lenny put it together. All right, well, I should be getting on. Whatever you say. All right. Put on some warmer clothes, friend. We're in the South, Pearson. Your work. Of course, Mr. Morgan. I mean that. Yes, yes. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Always good to see you. You feeling more settled here now? Oh, shit. Yes. This is a nice spot. Well, it'll do us for now. Sure thing. I was gonna get some coffee, Tilly. Here we are. Another day. I love how the spoon is just fucking floating there. Look at that. Okay, so our next mission is, oh wow, got two up there, but our next mission is over here in Caliga Hall. Wait, what's this question mark? Hey, Karen. Eh, not much. You wanna talk? Sure. I don't know. I just don't feel myself. Been out a lot. Sure. Anything fun? I've been bad. I've been killing animals just for the hell of it. That's it. Well. Also killed a bunch of innocent folk. I don't know why. What's wrong with you, Arthur? I just get so angry. About everything. About how this is gonna end. Well, it'll only end well if you keep your mind, Arthur. We need you. I know. I mean, and that's not necessarily true either. We've only killed, like, by accident, one horse last mission. Unless it counts every time we accidentally run over a rabbit we don't see. <laughs> Miss Grimshaw. Hey there. You got this place whipped into shape, all right? I'm trying. John, what are you wearing? You must be freezing your pecker off. Nah. That scar healed pretty well in the end. I'm stuck with him now. Well, just gotta keep moving on. Okay. But yeah, we haven't killed that many animals. And, uh... I'm hungry this morning. Okay. okay. Go get you Look, some food there, buddy. Everything's gonna be all right. I know. You'll be good now. Okay, Uncle Arthur. He's so cute. And any innocent person, I don't think we've killed any person who hasn't attacked us. Like immediately, except for, you know, all that shit in Valentine when we had to move. Yeah, that's better, boy. All right, boy, come on. Off we go. now we don't have any pressing jobs going. I, I think all this stuff with the families are... Whoa, back. Who's... Is that Tilly? But, uh, all that stuff with the families is like long haul of this job stuff. Did I 
I just make money? Raiders, hello. It feels like we ain't getting nowhere. It's the end of the season. I understand how I missed this guy, but not the guy who just stood up after getting shot in the head. Ain't gonna live to tell this tale. Ain't nothing like a good eight in the morning raid. Firebug, we got Molotovs? I hear a horse. Uh-oh. I think that's the last of them. Can I, can I, can I take the box? Which side is the box on? There we go. <laughs> Cocaine gum. <laughs> no, thank you. Cocaine does not need to be in everything. All right, come on, boy. You run back to camp? Yep. you want you okay <laughs> do I look okay <laughs> no you look awful Ugh. awful look at me useless I wasn't born to this I didn't deserve this I used to be a gentleman Jeremiah Compson Compson stead good for you if that's anything to boast about they took everything from me who did they and what did they take my whole life a whole way of living a career i stole a lot of things but that's quite a lot to steal look at me here living in the shit and the mud i'm sorry <laughs> my old house the house my grandfather built all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's stead. It's a north of... Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. All right, let's see. Uh, where's my horse? Where'd he go? Oh, over there. 
Where is it? Is it close? Close? It's far up north. Wait, is that? Yeah, it is. It's far up north towards the field in the creek. So we got a stranger mission here. Actually, you know what? Because we, we got a while. So we can pursue this. And see what comes of it. We'll do the other stranger mission down there. Yeah. In Rhodes. And see what comes of that. And then we'll go see about them grays. This weapon is no, no, no. There we go. Let's maintain it. Oh yeah, definitely need to clean it. There we go. Yep. Oh shit! These fools gonna ambush me. I've killed a lot of them. Okay, fella. Yep. Like they just don't care. Then again, they probably don't. They're racist sociopaths anyway. Dog, mister? Yeah, I think I can cut through this way. Here we are. Easy. Repossession order. property and all items here into the bank of roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley, Clerk, November 18th, 1895. Okay. Back, back. How do I get in? This door works. Ledger, watch, pistol. Empty bottle. It's Kentucky bourbon. Either somebody's been living here or it was just left there. But it's been, the place has been empty for a while, so I don't know why some of this stuff would still be here. My child's drawn. Thanks indeed for your talk to our Sunday school class. <laughs> Thought you might like this drawing young Josh did of you. He wants to grow up to be just like you. Sam. Hmm. 
What are you bring his dog? Oh shit. No, I didn't mean to pick that up. Put it down. June 7th, 1855. Dear sir, please accept this likeness of your family as a small token of appreciation for your assistance in the recovery of my property. Like your old pa, you're a cunning old dog and a credit to this community. <laughs> Yours, Colonel Joshua Nixon, the Ascension Plantation. Okay. I hope to God it's not what I think it is. letter April 2nd 1870 dear Mr. Thompson I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you these are trying times for all of us you are in our thoughts and prayers yours truly Colonel J. Nixon the Ascension Plantation just the watch. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. Take a look in here. Nope. On the tables or letter. Dear Jeremiah. There ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey any time. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Shit started to sound like it was going downhill for him for a while. Because I assume Betsy's his wife. Okay, where's all this old crap? Pa, God damn it. Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, none of us want nothing to do with you. Rance. Okay. Photograph. Ah, a trap door, huh? Interesting. <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah. Easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours. <laughs> Binders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Damn it. Damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that wasn't necessary. Let's pick up the pistol. Just the ledger now. And I'm assuming that's downstairs. Oh, he didn't have anything. Shit. Oh, shit, it is what I thought it was. Oh, my God. Ledger. An old diary. Well, that's that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. 
till the day I die. I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Light's fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. This your ledger? A list of slaves? Yep. Uh, rewards. January 15th, Betsy. $17. January 18th, nope. Louise. I don't need well, to hear no. no more. Let's go find the bastard. What, what am I stuck on? The door frame. Come here, boy. You got some justice to exact. Let's see, where is he? Is he back in road still, or no? He's camping not too far, or at a house, not too far. It's a camp. I don't know. Oh, it's like foundations. It. Just when they needed us, they threw us away like, uh, like shit on their boot. Hello, I'm, sir. Times wasn't perfect. I ain't saying that. It's just. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? My things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Old man, some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are pissing What are you doing? That's that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! I still exist. Oh. Not no more. <laughs> and that's all he was worth, too. Nothing. <sighs> all right. Go to a plantation that don't use slaves. Well, they can't now. Idiot. But I'm, I'm fairly hoping, since there ain't no sharecroppers there, that they didn't in the first place. Come on. Fuck off. 
Shut up. I literally just rode past you. Hey, whoa, what? Look what we got here. Careful, big man. Good lord, please help me. No, please. Well, I'll know where to find you. All right, come on, boy. It ain't worth it. Where's the main path? Right here? Hello, gentlemen. Sheriff's orders. You wanted me to have a word with some folk on the property. I'm recently deputized, you see. Deputized? And I suppose Lee was drunk when he did it? Look, you can come in, but you ain't talking with me. Obliged. Sounds good. Don't really want to talk to you. Hey, fella, uh, who can I talk to around here? Hey, uh... I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and... Uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. All right. Where's he at? see you at the sheriff's office excuse me friend we friends not yet but he is hoping I guess we don't get a lot of traveling men here and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place is there what are you doing here I was just looking for work well, looking for something don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please. No brains, but money is how I like it. They're worse with strangers than I are. My horse ran all the way over there. Come on. So long. And good 
Rumba. Probably shouldn't, you know, just run directly in there. Yeah. Sneak onto the grounds, it says. Is this they land? Yes, it is. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> he said she likes to sit by the gazebo? Think I see it? Oh shit! Literally spotted me the last second. Wait, where am I? All right, so maybe we'll try around the back. Yep. This this is my horse, right? Yeah.
how far off are we now? Not, not too far. Jump over that, Miss Braithwaite. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from. Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so strange. Yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I take offense to that. Ohio ain't that bad, or at least not in the cities. Come here. If you go to the countryside of Ohio, yeah. it's fucking terrible. Don't do it. Crush your soul and you're likely to get lynched, too. Just don't do it. Stay near the cities. Hella bounty hunters out of here looking for me for. Yeah. It's all right, boy. It's okay. Okay there. Ah, oh, shit. Bounty didn't go up because they found me. Oh, God. Have any mission on the oh god. Inspect floorboard, what? What's under here? Hello. Family photograph of who? on the back. 
Is this on the Underground Railroad or something? Canned salmon. Uh, $200. Oh. Okay. What was that? Rum. Anything here of value? Not really. I thought they was gonna come after me here. And that is how you hunt your own bounty hunters. <laughs> uh, Caliga Hall. Again? Didn't I just see him? Alright, well, you know what? Let's let's get this $50 bounty off me, because I'm I'm tired of it already. We can go into town rest up Let's see whatever it is the, that the uh, gun shop just wait what oh my god uh, okay come on you all right boy keep moving but see whatever it is the gun shop has that it just alerted me about i think it said bandoliers And then go see him. Oh, the stranger admission is back. You all right? Can I? You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertent the codes. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. 
The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Oh, it will not be any trouble, my friend. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? Yeah. I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's in. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Because we'll be back in town in a minute after we grab this wagon. So we, uh, I'm going to do that. So we can, uh, pay off the bounty there once we're back. Still can't do it. really doesn't help, but better than nothing, I suppose. Why? Why must you continuously do that game? Leave my guns out! This mud. How far are we? Not too far, just across the, uh, I guess, little inlet over there. River. I need. See a thing. Oh no. Don't slam head first into my horse. Wait. Now come on. Alright, we're gonna be taking a long way on this because we can't take shortcuts with this thing. Oh 
us can make it under the bridge. Alright, good. That would have been a disaster if it just like flipped. Yeah. Hello, sir. I got your carriage back for you. Well, look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. Well, I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Awesome. Oh, that th this is not my horse. Really? It wandered all the way over there. Okay. Let's go, boy. Right, we can uh, take a rest over here. And then we'll pay off the bounty in the morning. Good. Hello, sir. New and Hello. Down. Hey, mister. How do you do? So, you heard now, anything how about can I any, ease your uh, troubles? Bounty hunters from these parts? Hello. Uh, lodging, please. You got any room? It's ready for you now. Do enjoy. Hi, right, folks. Thanks, partner. God, I remember ha having to sleep near railroad tracks. Because my house used to be near one. And oh my god. I could just sleep through it. Ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return, we're going to see what them gray boys is up to and pay off a bounty and see what trouble there is. So I thank you so much for watching. If you're on uh, YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will be back in a moment. Ooh.